Games is drawing to an end. Looking back on my time reporting the Games in two weeks, I've been asking others about their feelings and impressions of the Asian Games and the whole city of Hangzhou. I went to karate competition. I see that uh, the athletes matches together, but after the game is over, they, they can be friends again. I think that's the beauty of sport. Yeah, the audience very supportive to the players. Not not only the Chinese, but all players who play in the court, they support it. Over the past two weeks, the city made new history by hosting the largest ever Asian Games. More than 12,000 athletes from 45 countries and regions compete in 481 events across 40 sports during the Games. Athletes have been pushing their limits, breaking world records, as well as making history for their countries. But what moved me most was often their stories outside of the spotlight. Iranian table tennis players won the nation's first team medal at the Asian Games in 65 years. The ace of the team is Nashad Alami and Darun Kulei, whose left hand can only play backhand due to a neurological disorder. Brunei Wushu athlete won a historic Asian silver medal. Behind this breakthrough is the dedication of a Chinese coach spanning 17 years. It's games, but more than games. It's a platform for competition, friendship, peace, and unity among people of different ethnicities and languages. That's, that's the beauty of sports, right? It, it brings everybody to neutral ground. It's what the Olympics were all about. And to see it happening on this level of Asian Games, I mean, I think everyone just appreciates to see the human endeavors that you know can be achieved by by greatness.